a blank canvas slowly and carefully transforms into purpose. There is an intent and motivation to create something that I want to viewers to see, but also that I want to express this idea that I think it is deserving of paper or canvas or whatever medium I choose to use. Rachel Kamada's portfolio consists of a colorful self-portrait, a drawing of her maternal grandmother, and other works of art that have earned her scholarships and some of the highest honors. The drawing of the hand over there actually got the highest honor you could get with the gold seal. She's even created a large orange mural of a river of W's for Whataburger's downtown San Antonio location. We used vinyl and it was applied to the windows. So it was a very non-traditional material to use for murals and we had a lot of fun taking down and putting up the mural in the winter. And then there's this print titled Three Cranes Dancing. It took more than two months to make as part of Blue Star Contemporary's student artist program Mosaic. For this piece it's really talking about my Japanese heritage and my grandparents who live in Japan. A big source of inspiration she admits are her grandparents. But this really was how can I communicate to them the desire to be together? His career was in art, but he, when he retired, he said, I'm going to learn how to paint. Since then, his watercolor paintings have been exhibited in the Tokyo Metropolitan Museum of Art, which is really cool. Then on my mom's side of the family, my great-grandmother, um, she was an oil painter um, for fun. I still have some of her paints and tools with me. That's her palette knife as well. Through the years, Kamada has been able to explore new mediums like oil painting, clay, and block printing. But it all began with pencils and a notebook back in fifth grade. At the end, I got a participation award that looked very fancy for drawing a lake on a sheet of lined paper. Her art teacher, she says, created a safe space for her and other students that wanted to express their creativity. I'm just thankful that I've had the opportunity to go to an amazing school and be part of the Mosaic program. They've both helped me to develop as an artist, as a person, and I'm forever thankful to the both of them. This fall, Rachel will pack up her brushes, paints, and other supplies and head to the University of Rochester, New York, where she plans to study art as well as international relations focused on Japan. Reporting Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News.